So firstly, we can use them to find values of um, expressions. Yeah. So in example one, okay, so example one, let's take a pen, underline that. So let's find the value of, so find the value of, okay, so in part A, let's find the value of hyperbolic sine 1, okay, so hyperbolic sine 1. You can do this in a number of ways, everyone, okay, so first way, we can use the definition of hyperbolic sine, yeah, so to get hyperbolic sine 1 in our case, we replace all of the x's in our definitions by 1's, and then calculate that using the aid of our calculator. Or, in, in the calculator, there is a button, so let me just write it in the corner, there's a button that looks like this, HYP. So I know that in the Casio, Casio calculators, you have a HYP button. That is the hyperbolic uh, button, so if you press that, you should have all of the hyperbolic functions there and if you select the one that you need and type in the value um, and press equals then you'll get the value straight away okay let me show you how to get it from the definition though okay so hyperbolic sine one so in this case let's use so using the definition of hyperbolic sine x that is e to the x minus e to the minus x let me take a ruler divided by 2 okay and let's find hyperbolic sine 1 so as I said earlier replace the x's in your definition by 1's we can have e to the power 1 minus e to the minus 1 okay let's take a ruler again just to make sure that everything's neat divided by 2 and if you insert this in the calculator you can give uh, calculate your final answer uh, to that one yeah so I'll leave that for you for you to do yeah let me do another example so um, in the same way so that was part a let's try part B uh, part B same question so find the value of and we use a definition to calculate hyperbolic cos 3 okay so hyperbolic cos 3 so let's go through this one so we know the definition from the previous page of hyperbolic cos okay let's use that definition and let's replace all of the x's by threes in the definition so we're using hyperbolic cos x and the definition is e to the x plus e to the minus x okay divided by two and if i replace the x by three we're going to have e to the power 3 plus e to the power minus of 3 divided by 2. And once again, if we use our calculators, you could straightforwardly work out that value. Okay, But going back, remember, there is a button HYP. If you select, if you press that button, select hyperbolic cos, type in 3, press equals, it should give you the same value yeah so that's a quick way to working out the values of hyperbolic functions okay so that's example one finding uh, the values let's try an example two now you could also find various expressions uh, using hyperbolic functions so we can find hyperbolic sine x squared or hyperbolic tan x over 2 for example okay and again that is done using the definitions okay so in example 2 question is let's find the following okay so in part a let's find hyperbolic sine x squared okay so let's find an expression for that in terms of exponentials so going backwards everyone so we have the definition of hyperbolic sine so here's a definition okay let's use that definition and let's replace all of the x's by x squareds so 
let's use a definition. So using our definition, so let's copy it down. Hyperbolic sine x e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2. And all we do is replace the x by x squared. So we're going to have e to the x squared minus e to the minus x squared over 2. Okay, and that is it. Okay. So let's try one more. Let's try one more. Why not? So let me just take another page. Okay. Or then just continue in the reverse. So here's uh, part B. Let's find an expression for hyperbolic cos x over 2. Okay. So we're going to do the same. We're going to go back. We're going to use a definition of hyperbolic cos. And I'm going to replace all of these x's. So going backwards, replace all of these x's by x over 2's. Okay. So let's use. So using hyperbolic cos x, that is e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2. So therefore, hyperbolic cos, and it's an x over 2, that is equal to e to the x over 2 plus e to the minus x over 2 over 2. Okay.